been asked quite a few times where the name Double Boost comes from. When I first started doing YouTube videos, it was I was doing gas turbines, uh, home built jet engines. And we had a problem with one of the gas turbines that wouldn't run right, so I suggested that we double the boost pressure, which is like a P2 pressure. So we doubled the boost pressure and it worked, and the double boost just sort of came from there. Um, I'm going to put a link to one of my early videos showing the, the jet engine, you might find it interesting. I've been asked by quite a few people if I would do another project building another gas turbine. I wouldn't do another go car with a gas turbine on, I just haven't got the room. But a small gas turbine made from a, a car turbocharger or a small wagon turbocharger could be a good project. If you think it will be a good project, let us know and we'll do a, maybe a project, maybe a little bit each month just to fit in with the nightcaps. This is my WP20 TIG torch. It's a torch I use all the time. Uh, it's a water cooled torch. Unfortunately, I was pushing it a little bit too hard and I've actually melted one of the cables. There was a kink in one of the cooling pipes. And this is a, what they call a hot wire. That's a, there's actually a wire inside there and there's water in there as well. And that actually melted. You've got three connections on here. That one there is gas, that's organ shields and gas. That's cold water that comes up to the torch goes on the torch, keeps the torch cool and goes back down here and that is actually the power cable there's actually a cable inside of there, a copper cable and that takes all the heat away back into the cooler these torches are quite expensive um, so what I've done, I was at Ortex base last week and they gave me a new power cable and you can see the power cable is much bigger diameter, a lot more water and a lot more copper in it but it has got the same fitting on the end so the problem I've got is you're going to try and get the power cable and the two other feeds which is the gas feed and the water feed up through that shroud that just isn't enough room I've had them through once and the pipes are really badly restricted what I should have done was use that torch that's a WP18 much bigger torch it will stand a lot more amperage but what I could have done and what I did do are two totally different things. So what I'm going to do is make a new handle out of that piece of plastic. Sort of in between the sides of those two. Just so I can reutilise that torch. I've got the piece of plastic in the chuck. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is centre drill it. You can see it's not running, it's not running through, it's actually got a bend in it. It's just sort of it's just what it is. I'm going to be taking some off the outside so we can make it, we can make it round. I need to work out what size wheel I'm going to need to get those three wires through. And I was thinking probably three quarter of an inch should be more than enough. I've got a bit of three quarter bore tube. I've tried them in there and they certainly seem to go through quite nicely put a long drill through here first the plastic machine is quite nice but you've got to be careful because when it gets warm it'll actually melt onto the tool which is not ideal like that that you keep the chips cleared away. What I'll do, I'll put a bigger hole through just so I've got some clearance for the chips to come out. You can actually push it in by hand, it takes no effort at all to machine it. Once again, bigger drill just to keep the hole. Keep the wheel clean. Right, we're we'll giving it a try. So the power cable's got to go up, the gas cable. 
and the cold water feed and they're going in there quite nicely it's snow fit but at least it's not squashing the pipe flat so I'm quite happy I'll, I'll settle for that I just want to make a round there, we'll take a little bit of the <coughs> diameter of it. normally do that, it normally, the chips normally flow off quite nicely that's sort of just rolling them up right, I've decided to cut a fairly coarse there on it just to just to give it some grip when I hold it that looks good, it's certainly different Right, so we've got a nice, a nice coarse fair in there, that feels quite nice. And then we part it off and then see if we can get the torch back together. I've trimmed part off the old handle and that's going to go into there and that'll be a nice push fit onto there. And that actually feels it feels quite nice. And so we can get the wires up through the hole and connect it to the torch. We'll do the park cable first. Simply screws onto there. These are copper, they're quite flexible, but you have got to be careful with them. I'll put this in the vise just to give it a bit more. So I'm not trying to fumble with everything. Right, that's better. The power cable goes on first. Oh, we'll, put the, we'll put the new power cable on, which is the bigger one. And the spanner to fit that. Gas one next. Organ gas, fuel and gas. Just going to get a blade and trim the end of that nice and square, nice and straight. Gas one that pushes onto there. And then that little ferrule screws on and locks it into place that screws up there and squeezes it nice and tightly so it won't leak Right, so that's got a good hold now. Next the gas cable, sorry, next the cold water feed up into the torch. These are still tight to get through here, but at least it is it is possible it will just just about there. Right, so that's the cold water feed up to the torch. Once again, we'll just trim the end off. Push us onto there. And then the ferrule squeezes it nice and tight. Right, and that's it, so that can't come off. 
So we've got cool water up to the torch, power up to the torch and hot water away and then organ shield and gas. So we can get the get the handle on now. Not. It's going to be a tight fit, but it's going to be it's going to do the job. Right, so there you have one. I suppose it is unique. WP20 torch. You see the difference in there? I was just no chance of getting those wires through there without seriously restricting the flow. Right, the last thing to go on to the torch is a leather sheath which just protects those cables. This keeps them nice and tidy as well as protecting them from obviously hot sparks. Let's put a cable tie through there just to keep the, the end nice and tight. Right, I've got it all coupled up now. That's the negative side, that's when that goes to the torch. That's the earth which is on the positive side. That's hot water coming back down from the torch through there into the cooler. Cool water going back up to the torch. And that one there is your organ gas feed. I turn it on just to make sure I have got water flowing. Right, you can see in there that's the water back to the tank, that's a hot water return. And it has got a much better flow rate now than it had with that smaller power cable on. So I'm pretty confident this torch will do whatever I wanted to do now.
Yeah, no, it's just going to be a steel shot. shot. Not going like Team Extreme. Uh. <laughs> you are that. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you've been doing, you've been doing it. So yeah, come on in. You want to stand next to me? Yeah. Do, as we are. Next turn. Yeah. Stand up. You don't have to hold my arm, baby. Okay. Oh, so we don't trip over your. Okay, we're all good. Everyone's good. Oh, Get in there. You've all seen. Yeah. Okay. That's it, you got it? Everybody say cheese. Cheese. Once again, it's just time to say thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and as usual, a massive thanks for all the well wishes that are coming in. Um, incidentally, my dad's still in hospital. He's medically good, but his mobility is not good at all. Um, he's slowly improving, we're not quite sure what's going to happen. But anyway, I'm sure he'll be thrilled as people are asking about him from all over the world. Anyway, thanks for watching. Secure out the handle with a little bit of tape. Come on, John, bell end. I'm going to put the 18 mil drill through first and just see if I can get the pipes to go through that. Look at the bastard thing. John, man.